the new release from Trezor. I'm not exactly 100% sure what uh, version number that was, but uh, most people probably didn't miss it um, with the introduction of uh, CoinJoin with Wasabi Wallet. Um, so this has been uh, discussed for quite a while and was actually, I think um, it was uh, introduced first in Riga um, at the Honey Badger last year uh, in summer. That was the first time they publicly announced that they'll be doing this. Um, and now it's officially mm. been released. Um, so now you can coin join with your funds on your Trezor um, in combination with Wasabi Wallet. So, uh, yeah, guys. And chain analysis. Uh, <laughs> exactly. <fantastic>. So. <laughs> you can coin join and, and support these chain analysis companies. It's um, it's really, really good. Exactly. Really slick. So, uh, thoughts? Just a real shame. A um, lot of, hell of a lot of respect for what Trez has done. They're one of the OGs in the hardware wallet space and have, have done untold amounts of good for like Bitcoin standards and, and getting hardware devices into people's hands where most of the companies today didn't even exist. So I'm not going to sit here and slate them, just that it's disappointing to see. The whole point of like Bitcoin privacy tools is to to root around and, and push back against people like chain analysis. They are the enemy of Bitcoin privacy. So integrating a tool that actively chose to work with them is just disappointing and you know clearly won't be getting any recommendations from me. It's not just the enemy of Bitcoin privacy. It's actually the enemy of Bitcoin. You can't separate those two things out. And so the way I see it is if you are using that coin join implementation and you're supporting, you're doing your bit to kill the dream and it's just fucking stupid. What's the right thing to do is not to pay your enemy. It's just, it's fucking disgusting. And for anybody that's on the fence about this, I urge you to go and listen to the Citadel Dispatch Matt did uh, Matt O'Dell did with the two lawyers who are representing uh, some some oh, yeah. guy relating to the Bitcoin fog. If you get to the end of that and then still choose to use a company that interacts with chain analysis, I'd take my hat off to you. You know, you've clearly got no morals, no morals and a warped view of the world. Go and listen to that. It's like a 90 minute listen. Is it Roman? He's yeah, called? yeah. Some guy and some of the bullshit that chain analysis have come up with to try and pin this guy down and the corruption that they're embedded with the US DOJ. I was so, so angry when I listened to that podcast. So yeah, go and check that out if you're on the fence about this whole, you know, wasabi chain analysis stuff.